black cat. So the black cat is out here tonight. See if I can find it. See if I can find it. Where's the black cat that go comes out here? Where you at, you black cat? It's very, very sad. Yep. There's the black cat walking around. You know what that means when a black cat shows up? It, it means it's time to do a review. Let's do an update. Now, I got my wiper motor. I got my electronics for my Mothman. And this is what the setup's gonna be. This is what the setup's gonna be. This is a linear actuator. This is a linear actuator. Uh, it's a 12 volt actuator. Goes, supports 225 pounds. Has a two inch stroke length. Travel speed is 47 inches a second, and so on. This is what's going to be controlling the motor to the to the Mothman. I'm going to run for the motor. It's going to be a Fright Props Pico Volt. I have a couple of these at my house right now. These are about twenty. These are about seventy something, seventy eighty dollars shipping and all. And it's a motor controller. You can put a trigger on here. You can control your lights on here. You can control speed on here for your your motor. This is just kind of a alternative to going over there and spending five hundred dollars or more on a on a motor control for a wiper motor or stuff. Though the price is being so much we still I still use these to do. Blue goes in the positive goes into the positive Brown goes into the negative. I can control my lights in there. Um, I'm going to put a trigger system. A sensor for this guy. So pretty much the sensor is what's going to set this guy off. So when the trick or treater comes by, it sets it off. So let's plug her in, huh? Plug her into its power cord. And it's ready to go. Oop. Now I've already programmed this control to control on on here. I've already recorded a sequence to set it up. This is your play button, your play button and your record button is that same button. So when the so when the motor comes is ready, press the button. The wiper motor extends. This extends out. When it extends out, the wings fold, fold out. When it go, goes back in, the wings close up. Now I did this four. I programmed it four times to do the same motion. And so on. 
this is gonna hook up to this is gonna hook up to the wiper mode. This is gonna hook up to the frames I've already showed you and go back and forth, back and forth. And keeps going on and on and on and off for the night. So yeah. This assembly is ready to go. I'm going to put a sensor on because I don't want to be back there behind the character every five seconds pressing the play button to go back on and off and have the character continue running. The sensor will be triggered to triggered to keep playing it on a loop. As long as somebody hits the sensor. So yeah, this is just an update on what the electronics will look like. I'm going to get the sensor to come in. And so on. And then we'll set, we'll set the wings up. So in a couple more days after I get the sensor ordered. The sensor ordered. Um, then we'll be ready to go. Then we'll be ready to go. I'll show you the back of this. Your back is plugged in. You screw your, your pieces into a terminal. I had to modify, or I had to mo do a little modification for one because this one didn't have a thing on it. Yeah, Fright Props is Fright Props is good. They do solenoids. They do everything for characters. So yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd show an updation on this video. See you guys after I get it installed. So see you guys soon.